When I was about three years old, I had a burning question in my mind. I just could not work it out. So I went to that fount of all wisdom, my mother, and I said, Mum, why do cats have tails? And she didn't say anything for a bit, shuffled her feet. Then rather crossly, she said, well, they wouldn't look complete without them, would they? <laughs> and even at age three, I could see that the old lady didn't know the answer. <laughs> and she hadn't realized she didn't know the answer until somebody asked the question. <laughs> Children are very good, I think, irritatingly good at asking that sort of question that you think you know the answer to until it's asked. And adults run up against them too, of course, um, all by themselves. In the fourth century, St. Augustine said, time, I know well enough what it is, provided that nobody asks me. But if I'm asked what it is and try to explain, I'm baffled. 1,400 years later, Dr. Johnson, working on his famous dictionary, was pottering along merrily until he got to the letter L, and he ran up against light. He'd already done lady and legs and easy things like that. He came to light, and he said rather sadly, we all know what light is, but it's not easy to tell what it is. Well, I don't think grammar is as difficult as light or time, but it does seem to me it's one of those things that we, we know perfectly well what it is until somebody asks the question. We work with grammar all the time, don't we? Very familiar with it. We know what it is. So suppose somebody came up to you um, one of these days and said, hi, how are you doing? What's grammar? Um, can you think for a minute while I shut up? You think, what would you say if somebody asked you that? Think about it. Exchange views, if you like. All right, does anybody want to... Um, it's not a test, you know, there are no right answers, but does anybody want, want to volunteer what they would say? <laughs> Sorry? Meaning and function of language, okay. Yeah? The mechanical bits. The mechanical bits. Yeah. yeah. A, a system of language, of how language works. A system of how language works. Yeah, and I agree with everybody. <laughs> I think it's important to distinguish between definitions and descriptions. I think some of what we heard was definitions and some was descriptions. Not quite the same as a description tells you something true, but it doesn't, it doesn't show how something differs from something else. So, you know, if, if, I, if I said, what's a flower? And somebody said, well, it's something beautiful that smells sweet. Absolutely fine. But then there are a fair number of things in this room that are beautiful and smell sweet. <laughs> <laughs> They're not flowers. So <laughs> descriptions have their limits. Uh, curiously enough, it's quite hard to find a de definition of grammar in a grammar. Uh, it's much easier to find one in a dictionary. Here's one from a dictionary. Grammar. The rules in a language for changing the form of words and combining them into sentences. Pretty much what several people have said. Rules in a language for combining, for changing the form of words and combining them into sentences. Um, which is true, certainly. But it doesn't seem to me that it's really adequate. Suppose you looked up in a dictionary for, suppose you looked for a definition of bus, okay? I don't know why you would, but dictionaries are full of words that you know, explained with words you don't know. <laughs> Cat, domestic feline quadruped. <laughs> suppose you found this, bus, bus, large road vehicle constructed on one or two levels. <coughs> True enough. What's wrong with it? Doesn't tell you what it's for. Doesn't tell you what it's for. Absolutely. Doesn't tell you what it's for. That definition of grammar, rules for changing the form of words and combining them into sentences, is true, but it doesn't tell us what grammar is for. It doesn't tell us why we need grammar. Now, if we do, I mean, do we need grammar? Here's another question for you to think about. Um, while I shut up. Um, do languages need grammar? And if so, why do they need grammar? Over to you. 
Yeah. I think it's so that we can try and produce patterns in it so we can create language eventually. Yeah. So we know how a system works, so by applying the system we can create more. Yeah. So it kind of codifies the system and creates some coherence within okay. it. It's actually a, I think it's a very difficult question. Um, I mean, some of you will have felt yourself floundering, rather like my mum when I said, why do cats have tails? Uh, well, they wouldn't look complete without them. You have to have it for communication, you know. Well, why? That's what we're going to do in this session. We're going to try to get a much clearer understanding of why languages need grammar.